Welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Tom Devine. I'm with AV Pro Edge and today we are going to be talking about a new matrix switcher. We're going to be covering product training on this matrix switcher and uh, it's not just your uh, average matrix. This is going to be the real um, the real home theater matrix standard um, for a lot of integrators from here on out. So uh, before we get too far into the product and into the training, I do want to let you guys know that if you are watching this live through the GoToWebinar control, uh, software, you're able to have the control panel and you can ask me questions live. Uh, those questions will help make sure that uh, my training's clear, but then also a lot of people will be viewing this on uh, YouTube and our on our website later. And those questions may come up where um, if you ask them now, that'll help those people as well. But if you are watching this on YouTube, you can always just comment on the in the comment section and we'll be sure to get back to you right away. Um, if you, uh, like I said, don't know who I am, my name is Tom Devine. I am uh, with AV Pro Edge. We are a manufacturer of professional audio video equipment uh, built for um, AV integrators to be installed throughout um, homes and uh, homes, automobiles, boats, whatever you can name, uh, all the way to hospitals, uh, skyscrapers, stadiums, auditoriums, whatever. Anytime that you need to move audio video signals from point A to point B and switch them in between, AV Pro Edge just got you covered. So before um, we go further into things, it's the, um, the the uh, questions tab is right on your go to webinar control panel. I did already cover that, I guess. So um, be for, be sure to just type those in, and then I'll see them as they come in. Um, so today we are talking about a Dolby Atmos and DTS X down mixing matrix switcher with four inputs and four outputs. Some of you may be familiar with our eight by eight. This is a matrix switcher that we have been selling for a while that does the same exact capabilities, but it is has eight inputs and has eight outputs. This will be a, a smaller, uh, more affordable video option where we can still have a very, very robust home theater delivering those however many channels, 20, 30 channels of audio through um, you know, real Dolby Atmos audio um, listening. At the same time as we're getting Dolby vision throughout our eyes, we're hearing Dolby Atmos in our theater and we are able to convert those signals so we can see them on um, maybe a 1080p display instead of a 4K display, a display that doesn't have HDR, double, doesn't do Dolby Vision throughout a home that needs to maybe have a patio or garage or kitchen or living room um, zone that's only going to have two channel uh uh, two-channel audio throughout so that it doesn't support 30 channels of where every single one of these houses in. Well, this switch can manage all of those features at the same time built inside. And so we're, we're going to talk about today. This is really going to become the switch that if you are, are um, lucky enough to do an installation where somebody is wanting a home theater, this will be the matrix switcher that you're going to want to uh, give to them or you're going to want them to purchase when you're not they're not having an eight zone huge system if they just have a small system with a couple zones this is the switch that's going to be able to manage all of the signals that you want it to manage so let's get into this um what makes this product special so it is the ability to down mix audio beyond the normal 7.1 or 5.1 channel audio signals and it can do that via all four of the inputs and the audio source or the audio signals include dolby atmos and dtsx so a lot of um things on the market are going to be able to down mix six channels of audio that's a 5.1 system and that and that's great and what a down mix is is take those six channels convert them so we get two channels of clear audio, a left and right channel of audio. Um, two channels, what mo a lot of people know, a lot of homes have always been installed with two channel throughout for distributed audio. Um, it's the best way for music listening. That's the standard. But for movies, especially for really nice, big budget, CGI filled, explosion, action packed movies, 
You want to have all of the sounds that come with it. When the helicopter goes behind you, you want to hear the the chopper blades that all the way as it uh, moves throughout your house, your home. And um, as the explosion happens, you want to hear the the particles of of shrapnel that land throughout. Um, it's a really, really exciting way, and it's it's one of the most exciting things that we do as integrators. And that's what we get to offer uh, our clients is that experience every time they go into their home theater. Well, this does that. It's a, it gives you the best of both worlds. You can send two channel throughout the entire house as the same time as you're displaying that same content and listening to Dolby Atmos. It, it actually will take that those 30 channels of audio, mix them into two good channels, and then send it throughout your home. It's really, really cool. And beyond that, we have full 18 gigabit support. So that means that you're able to send the highest 4K signaling under HDMI 2.0 uh, specification. That's everything that you get out of your Apple TVs, out of you, everything that you would see out of a modern laptop. It's the um, highest signaling that is being output today. Then we have 4K 6444 support that just goes into the 18 gigabit per second. Ultimate HDR support, that means HDR10, HDR10, uh, 10 plus, HLG, uh, Dolby Vision, uh, you can HDR 10 and tw at 12 bit um, colors. We have Dolby Vision, uh, like I said before, HDCP 2.2 and all earlier versions. It does 4K to 1080p downscaling so that if you do have a legacy projector or legacy um, display that the client wants to keep in the system, no problem. We can do downscale just one output. So you can listen or see 4K throughout your entire system and just downscale the one 1080p uh, display. And then we have very advanced aided management to make sure that you're going to end up with a picture on each one of your uh, screens or each one of your zones. So let's take a closer look here. Uh, this is on the top, you're gonna see the front, you're gonna see the inputs and the outputs. You can select your input, then select your output, and that's gonna actually switch the actual switch. You can have, you know, all, uh, four sources connected and they can be, be all displayed individually or all displayed at the same time. But then on the right side, that's where we get a little bit more of the um, interesting things here. So I'll grab my cursor right here. You're going to see auto de audio delay and down mix control. So we can up, down, mute and bypass. So that's what we can do. We can turn the audio delay up or down if we're having uh, sync issues and you're able to match that lip sync. But then you also have uh, have scaling. So this has HDMI outputs and HD base T outputs. These This circle around here represents an output block. So this is one and then these are mirrored. Two, three, four. If you need to um, scale the HDMI, you can do it right here. If you need to scale the HD base T, you can do it right here. And this is where you can use those scaling options. Um, and, and that's gonna really let, allow this switch to be super versatile. But as we can see uh, additionally through here, let's just do kind of a rundown. You have four HDMI inputs, you have four HDMI outputs, but we also have these HD base T outputs. And when you use uh, one of the AV Pro Edge receivers, it can go 70 meters on the other end and you're able to send these signals throughout an entire home running over category cable. Uh, you also have IR control for each one of your inputs and outputs, and you have uh, control for your HD base T ports. You have audio breakouts, and this is where the down mixing is happening. So let's, for instance, go in with HDMI signal. This is a Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision. So Dolby Vision, that's like HDR, that's controlling the colors. Dolby Atmos, that's the audio that's controlling the sound. And that's all going in through, let's say, a Blu-ray player, a 4K Blu-ray player, and it's going into this input. Now we can display that on all four of these outputs. And all four of these outputs would get the exact same signal fully um, you know, reamplified, so it's just as if it was coming from the original source, sometimes even better. And then you would be able to get that Dolby Atmos signaling throughout all of these, um, through this port and this port and this port and this port and all of these ports down here. But if I needed to de-embed this, bring it into a two-channel system, maybe you have a preamp, maybe you have a distributed audio system somewhere, and you, it's a two-channel system, well, no problem. 
this audio input or output right here, this audio output, this audio output, and this audio output are all independently controlled. You can tie them to any of the inputs or outputs that you would like. And what you are able to do then is instead of having the Dolby Atmos come out of these ports, you have two channel down mixed audio signal that now you can route to whatever room or whatever zone you'd want to um, really allowing you to play the highest quality content in a home theater at the same time as you can view that exact same content and listen to that exact same content in a complete different zone uh, maybe you need to go run and check on something in the kitchen no problem you won't miss a beat because you're going to hear it and see it even though you're not gonna get all of the billions and billions of colors you get with Dolby Vision, you're gonna get a great 4K signal or a 1080p signal, whatever signal you want to send to that kitchen zone. Uh, really, really cool. At a price that is uh, really affordable, $4,499. If you are looking for this, uh, contact us uh, right away. Uh, you're, um, you can shout out me at tom at avproglobal.com or just give us a call 605-274-6055 and we can get these in your hands. Uh, let's just go over some of the features here. So HDMI 2.0, you have 18 gig. It has ultimate HDR Dolby Vision support, HDCP 2.2. Uh, you have the simple setups that I showed on that front can panel. You do have a full web GUI. We'll look into a little screenshot of that later, but what you're able to do is plug that into the network just as long as you have a uh, phone or a computer that's plugged into that same network, you're able to go visit the IP address of the device and then you can control the device, set the EDID, manage the audio settings, really makes it an integrator's best friend during setup. You have advanced EDID on each individual of the outputs. You have front panel control, we have uh, audio breakout, you have drivers for Crestron and Extron and all, all sorts of support. You have the extracted audio <coughs> options of that three pin Phoenix or the um, the toss link if you prefer that. Has the built in down mixing for audio, built in down scalers. We use ICT in order to send 18 gigabits per second over the category cable on those HD base T outputs and it even has volume control. Uh, so really this is uh, uh, extremely feature rich. Um, so now let's kind of just talk about down mixing beyond 7.1. So that's kind of like the gist of the product. You guys will kind of um, at this point even know what the product is. And you know, we have an eight bay, you're maybe familiar. I'm teaching this, I mean, I'm doing this training as if you've never heard of our eight by eight before. And so before we go, really, how is how are we down mixing with this um, this switcher? Let's look at just down mixing in general and where the technology came from and how the relationship between AV Pro Edge and Dolby came about. Um, and it really all started because we knew that people liked installing home theaters and when they install home theater, they want Dolby Atmos and they want Dolby Vision. It's the best of the best. It's the buzzwords, it's what people hear, and it's what integrators are hired to do. We are in the professional market to deliver things that it's hard to get normally. Well, that's what we wanna do. Well, that exact instance is what I'm talking about right here. We have a Dolby Atmos theater, great speaker system, big subwoofer, all coming through an AVR. We have the TV being ran off of the AVR, and we have our 4K source with Dolby Vision. It would normally just go right into the AVR. But we have this little kitchen zone here, and so we have this device, and this is the first device that we offered that had this down mixing beyond 7.1. It was the our, a, our AC-AVDM-AUHD, and what it's an all HDMI device, and it allows you to down mix um, a signal and then bypass it through. So with this one, we can um, still deliver a two-channel audio by going into a, a distributed audio system out of this device and send the same picture to two different areas um, this uh, having a downscaler allowing you to do that as well um, you, um, with this device this was the answer this is what everybody used a lot of people use this per output um, but if you have more than one source you really do need one of these for each source and that kind of can get tough and you have a bunch of these racked around and it, it's kind of a mess. So we took this exact technology 
this exact technology we're looking right here and we put it into the matrix switcher. And that's this matrix switcher that we have here, the 44 that has down mixing. So let's kind of look at how you set that up. Right now, let's start. We see we have four different TVs. Each one of these TVs has a different picture. We have a snail, a storm, a crab, and a frog. Now, everybody's enjoying these. It's picked up, this is, um, this is hooked up to a control system. So everybody's like in a, you know, connected to their control system and shows what source they want to watch in each one of these four different zones throughout the home. And you can see this as the AVR. So this right here, the snail is the home theater zone. And this is the new snail movie, $100 million, big budget. It's going to be an audio extravaganza. And the snail is so, the, the movie, the snail, everybody's so excited for. So you get it and you're ready to watch it. And you got 35 speakers hooked up to this 30 you know 33.2 audio system that you know the customer has spent one hundred fifty thousand dollars on and and it's going to blow everyone away including himself every single time he plugs it in so he's so excited to watch the snail but everyone else out throughout his house also said you know what if you're going to watch the snail I want to watch the snail too, but I don't want to go into that big system. I'm going to be cooking in the kitchen and that's where the storm was. And I'm going to be doing homework in my, uh, in the living room and I'm going to be tinkering around in the garage. So that's where this zone is. So what we can do now is we can deliver Dolby Atmos to this AVR directly out of this HDMI signal or HDMI output. We can come out of the HD based D output too. Didn't matter. We just need a receiver before we go into the AVR. This would then become our Dolby Atmos system. Now we could switch each one of these zones to also be watching the snail. But because we are going into an audio amplifier, there were this, um, you know, the kitchen has two speakers, the garage has two speakers, the uh, living room has two speakers for the two channel uh, distributed audio system. Now we can listen to the snail through two speakers, through these two speakers, through these two speakers, and see it through each one of these TVs, even if one of these TVs is 1080p or 4K, we can manage that. Then now, as I walk through my home, I'm watching the snail through all of these different zones. I'm hearing it perfectly throughout all these different zones. But if I go to my home theater, I'm still getting the full experience, 4K60, 444, Dolby Vision at the same time as Dolby Atmos. And that, my friends, is exactly how this product works. This is the exact instance when you want to install this product. There's not really a lot of other instances when this product is called for. It is called for when your customer is watching Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision content. And that's going to be in a home theater. So that is where this switch comes into place. It's it's really, um, hopefully that breaks it down for you. If you guys have any questions, um, let me know um, on this diagram here. So this is done through the power of HD base T. This is HD base T, uh, HDMI certified, HD uh, uh, HDCP certified. The, you know this is completely going to be able to support exactly the type of signals that you're 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 expected to support with a system like this. Um, here is a picture of the web interface I talked to you about earlier. So if you plug into this, switch into the network, and then you contact, connect to the network, you would get, then get this. As you can see, we have switch sense, IR, video settings, audio setting, edit settings, and so on. You can click between these tabs and manage this switch. Um, as I wanted for switching, I can switch what inputs and to go to which outputs. This is going to be perfect for the integrator to make sure he can test the system before uh, connecting it to a control system. And speaking of control systems, what's your favorite control system? Chances are AV Pro Edge's products work with them. So as you can see here, we have Control 4, Crestron, URC, RTI. These are all going to be available built drivers built for our products. Our products have full APIs. So if you are building your own control system, you can you know command uh, type in commands yourself. But if you're if not, you can just use one of these in download the drivers for um, our product and they will talk and work together perfectly as if um, no one ever knew the difference. Um, really, we know how important it is to work with a control system and work with a control system smoothly. That's why we have such a robust API. And then we go even further and we you know, have the best driver builders in the world 
putting together drivers that as soon as we launch a product, those drivers are being built right away. Um, after launch, you'll see the drivers come in very shortly to make sure that you are going to be able to use that control system how you want to. Um, uh, one of my uh, mentors, Alan Braun, he's a great trainer for the whole audio video industry. Um, I've learned a lot from um, his training and he always talks about problem and solution. So I would like kind of like us to think about where this product goes into place. What, what is the thing that the customer is asking for? What are they, what, where, what is the problem they're having and what solution does this product offer? And one of them is, does your client watch movies? If your client watches movies and they're paying for a professional audio video integrator, don't you think they want the best? Don't you think that they paid you to be the expert so that you would deliver the best audio video experience you possibly could? Then they would need Dolby Atmos and DTSX. And a lot of times an integrator has to remove the home theater away from the distributed system because they need all this stuff working well and they want 4k and they want 18 gig but it may not work well with the rest of the zones well that was that time's over av pro edge is presenting the solution so you can have whole home audio whole home video and still keep your home theater intact is your client afraid of obsolete tech do they know how fast this environment moves well with av pro edge we're delivering 18 gigabits um, per second support right now, a potential backplane to handle 24 gigabits per second, depending on how HDMI 2.1 completely does shake out. But you eliminate the down the road support calls asking why the customers' um, devices don't work. Be through EDID management, through this huge bandwidth pipeline that AV Pro Edge offers, you're going to be able to get that signal from point A to point B without any problems, without any signal degradation. And then it works with all equipment. I mean, it has great, robust aided management. It has built-in scalers. It has down mixing. This is the product that's going to work with any speaker you have. It's going to work with any of the sources you have. It's going to be in, um, work with any of the uh, distributed audio amplifiers or preamplifiers you have. It's going to be able to work with your control system. It's going to be able to work with any of your displays or TVs. This is the product that fits alongside all of your favorite products that you enjoy installing. But now you get to combine them all together in a way that through this control system, they can manage everything through our switch. So this has a 10 year warranty, um, like all our products. This is a 10 year warranty. Uh, it's no BS warranty. If there's a problem, we will fix it. If it cannot, if we can't fix it, we will get you a new product. Simple as that. Um, AV Pro Edge stands by this. This is what sets us apart. This is why you can, as an installer, install our products with confidence, sharing this with your customer, giving them that warm, fuzzy feeling, knowing that everything's going to be okay because if something goes wrong, they're covered. So that brings me towards the end of my training here. Uh, if you guys do have any questions, put them in the questions tab. Here's the specs. You can find that on our website. We have a, a link to our website right here. You can contact me at a, info at avproedge.com, but I mean, direct is tom at avproglobal. Uh, dot com 605-274-6055 we're always happy to answer any questions you have uh, let me see if i can just pull up a, a website here so it looks like here's our website um we have you go to products matrix switchers i'm sorry guys we have so many products now hd based losses <laughs> Products, matrix switchers, HD base T matrix switchers, and then the 44 AVDM. So that's where you're going to be able to find this product. You can, uh, if you don't want to go through that whole rigmarole, don't worry. You just go here. You have a list of all the products here. You just type in 44 right here. It'll pop right up for you. There's lots of ways to use the website. Um, this is going to have all the information. It's going to have all the pictures, show you what's what it comes with, have uh, your data sheets your quick start guides all the, everything that you're going to need it's going to be available right here for you have your full spe specifications and what comes in the box in case you have any questions um this is here for you 
later um if you do have any um questions definitely don't be afraid to just leave them on our youtube i'm uploading as you can see the youtube uh uh on my extender um i did extender training on a 2.0 extender uh today cable today so you can see that but i'll bring the i'll be putting this up right on our youtube channel as well so if you just go to avproedge.com and you go to videos you can see all of our trainings um we had, did some bullet trainings we have some case studies we have the video wall training uh we have some um this is actually really good an av integrators guide to cds standards a lot of really great educational content. We like to have a little bit of fun as well, as you can see through some of these, but lots of educational, uh, relevant material at our YouTube pages for any of your techs that have any downtime, for any new techs that need to just get caught up. We have a lot of um, things that you could just give them a half day of training and the, they will really have a good understanding of how and, a, how and when and how to do audio video distribution. So thank you guys so much for checking us out. Um, if you have any questions on the 44, uh, just let me know. And um, I appreciate you coming, uh, uh, tuning in today. And we'll see you on the next training. Thank you very much.